Okay, I'm on here again because um, I want to go over the seven churches and actually give a little background uh, with what I have. Um, so, um, so this is Revelation 1. It says, Fear not, I am the first and the last. I am the, uh, he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And this is God talking to John. Keys of hell and death, write all these things which you have seen, the things which are and the things which um, shall uh, be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars, which thou sawest in my hand, and the seven golden lamps, and the seven stars of the seven angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks, which thou sawest, are the seven churches. Um, what I find really interesting is, is the seven churches are all um, right here. So you have uh, Thyatira, you have Philadelphia, Laodicea, um, Pergamos. Um, so I find it very interesting that all the seven churches in Revelation time are right here. Why? Um, I just find that interesting. When I looked it up, it's like, okay, because Roman Empire extended all the way into Europe, and it, um, in Israel, um, modern-day Israel is right here. So why are there no churches for the tribulation? in this part, why are they all located in what today is, was it Eastern Turkey? So I find that very interesting. And I don't have the answer to be completely, but it says onto ch um, the church of Ephesus, right? So Ephesus um, is a Roman province in Asia. Um, it's the oldest of the seven uh, um, revelation churches. It's the capital of Ionia and uh, Proconsular Asia. Um, and that's what it was called back in the day. Um, it was originally called Ar Arisino, um and had an uh, artificial harbor. Um, it had a plethora of uh, eminent orators and speakers. Um, it had a very large temple to the goddess uh, Diana, which is also called Artemis. And it was founded by, uh, the town itself was founded by Paul, uh, or the church itself was founded by Paul. And John released and potentially buried here um, in Acts 19. Um, so, <clears throat> um, seven right hands who walketh in the midst of the seven candlesticks. I know thy works and thy labor and thy patience and how thou canst bear them that are evil and thou hast, uh, tried them. So basically imagine walking in the place where you have the, uh, a, um, where the goss, um, where the goddess Diana's temple is and, all kinds of um, things coming in because there's all kinds the harbors are like a main port would say they are apostles and are not and has found them liars so you have like the Philistines and the Pharisees that are like trying to be these people that are um, <clears throat> trying to be these people and it's very much the same today I mean we have a lot of pastors who are claiming to know the truth to claim to guiding the right people the right way and yet they're leading people the wrong way. And has borne and has patience, uh, and for my name's sake, um, has labored and has not fainted. So these people have labored and not fainted. Um, nevertheless, I have, I have somewhat against thee, because thou hast left thy first love. Thy first love, our first love, if you look at the first commandments, if you look at the, uh, if, at the commandments that Jesus gave, it says, your first commandment sh it should be to love God. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, and do the first works. Um, the first works, so what God says is to love him um, first off, and to love your neighbor as yourself. And to and works involves, like, um, and he says, if you love me, then you'll... Um, and you'll open doors for people. You'll uh, be the hands of him. We have talents and abilities, and those are the works that he's referring to. Um, or else I will come uh, up unto thee quickly and will remove thy lampstand uh, out, of, out of his place, except thou repent. Um, repent means to turn away. But this thou hast, that thou hatest the uh, deeds of the Nic Nic Nicolaitans, which I also hate. So the Nicolaitans, just to give you an idea as to who they are, um, they are, they adhere to the doctrine of Balaam. Um, they ate things sacrificed, uh, to idols. Um, so Balaam is the devil, um, or a, a devil like, um, uh, I've heard the devil called Moloch. I've heard him called Balaam. I've heard him called Lucifer. So he has a lot of different names. Uh, but 
then the Clayetans were basically people that were headlong into sacrificial things. They ate things uh, sacrificed to idols. Uh, they mingled themselves in orgies of idolatrous feasts. Um, these idolatrous feasts are now um, like the Yule Festival, uh, which is also known as Xmas, um, which is in Christmas, um, Valentine's Day, um, Easter. These are all pagan holidays. Um, Easter, actually, it's Ishtar, which is comes from, uh, yeah, from Temuz and uh, Nimrod in the very, very olden days. And we're taught um, Balak to put a stumbling block before kids of Israel. And he says in, in God's word to not put a stumbling block before the people of God. And what God revealed to me is when you mess with his chosen and his people, we're kind of his, I mean, we're not kind of, we are his kids. And when you put a stumbling block before us, um, that's not a good thing. Uh, because then, um, yeah. Um, so, um, so he that hath, hath an ear, let him hear um, what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that overcometh will, will I give to eat of the tree of life, uh, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. The paradise of God is heaven. The tree of life is um, has all kinds of fruits. Um, and they're always in season, um, and he wants us to be in heaven with him, but he's not going to give, give you this stuff unless you turn to him and follow him. And unto the angel of the church of Smyrna, uh, so Smyrna, so let's see if I can keep things up. So Smyrna, so it's, um, they're called the people of the Asiatics, uh, the, the Lelages, um, it's the chief city of the Roman-dominated Asia, um, it's now in Turkey. It was settled in 11th century BC. Uh, name means uh, myrrh, uh, which is the resin that was used to embalm. Um, so that's um, pretty interesting. Um, and it had schools of science and medicine. Uh, Paul began the, uh, the church here. Um, and what was interesting is Polycarp was killed here. Um, and I, it's believed that his body may have been buried there. Um, and this church was spiritually wealthy, like it had a lot of wealth, uh, because of where, where it laid. Um, so, okay. So these things saith the first and the last, <clears throat> which was dead and is alive. I know thy works in tribulation and, uh, poverty. Thou art writ, uh, but thou art rich. And I, um, and I know the blasph blasphemy of them that say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan. So there's a lot of tares, um, and there are a lot of people that are posing as certain people. Um, and they, um, yeah, and it just says that um, they're, they're posing as like pastors and priests and whatever. And they're really, they belong to Satan. They don't belong to, uh, to God at all. Um, and we see many false pastors today, um, and I'm not going to call them out, but I'm sure you've um, seen mo a lot of them on TV. Um, <laughs> we actually saw one that starts with a C, and his last name is Land, um, be in front of um, of a certain someone that's running for some, some office. Um, but yeah, so... Fear none, none of those things which thou uh, shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall uh, shall cast some of you into prison, uh, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days, and be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Um, so we're in a time where a lot, um, most Christians are being jailed. Um, the, I mean, it's uh, they're cracking down big time on this. And it says that you will gain the, the crown of life. Um, so... It doesn't, uh, and that kind of hints to me that you're going to die. Um, I mean, we all die, but I mean, these people will die in jail. Um, he that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit say unto the churches. He that overcometh shall be hurt, uh, shall not be hurt of the second death. The second death is life eternal. The first death is life on this earth. And we, um, yeah, we, we choose which way we're, we're going. God gives us many, many, many choices, but... Uh, we make the ultimate decision whether to follow him or not. Um, and to the angel of the church of Pergamus write, write these things which uh, thou sayest. So Pergamus, um, uh, it was the resting place of Atalia's kings and capital. Um, 
and it was given to the Roman Empire. Um, it was the birthplace of Roman physician, surgeon, and philosopher Galen. Um, I think he was pretty, um, uh, yeah, he's he was pretty important back in the day, and had uh, and it had Plutarch's Library, which is a, a, a big library back in the day, and a great altar um, of Saint um, that was Satan's throne. So Pergamus was. Um, had Satan's throne in its modern day Turkey. Um, Antipas uh, was a faithful witness that was here, um, and it was the center of worship for Zeus, Dionysus, and others. So basically, I mean, if, if you have the seed of Satan, yeah, that's that's pretty big. Um, so these things, saith the Lord, that have a sharp sword with two edges. Um, I know their works and where thou dwellest. Um, so he, he recognizes that they're dwelling in the seed of Satan, um, even where Satan's seed is. Um, and thou holdest fast my name and hast not denied my faith. Um, so yeah, we're supposed to have a relationship with God Almighty. Um, even in those days wherein Antipas was my faithful martyr. So there it is uh, right there. That in, uh, research was stuff that I did earlier, but you can see right here in the Bible it says, a martyr is someone that their head was chopped off or, or he died uh, at the stake who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth. Um, so, yeah. Um, so these people, ha I mean, if you live where Satan li lives, you're going to have a very hard fought battle. I mean, um, when, <laughs> when you have the seed of Satan there, he's going to uh, use all the demons and everything he can to come against you. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you have to be very... Um, what is it? Um, as humble as I can't remember it. something as doves and then as like um, sneaky as snakes kind of thing. But I have a few things against thee because thou hast there them that hold the doctrine of Balaam, because uh, we know it's the seed of Satan, who taught Balak uh, to cast a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things sacrificed unto idols and to commit fornication. Fornication is sleeping. Uh, with anyone, anywhere. Uh, doesn't matter if it's male or male. Doesn't matter if it's male and female. Um, so hast thou ha also them that hold the doctrine of the Nicolaitans, which I also hate. So there again, you see the Nicolaitans. We've already gone over that. But they are wicked, evil. Um, th think of the, the Temple of Satan. Uh, those type of people. Um, they they want you to think that all sins are fine, that you can do whatever the heck you want and when you want. That's not right. Repent, or else I will come unto thee quickly, and will fight against them with the sword of my mouth. And the sword of the, my, my mouth is referred to um, with the armor of God. Um, the sword of the mouth is God's holy word, which is what I'm reading. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. To him that ever cometh up will I give to eat the hidden manna. Um, there will be, um, for those of you all to, that turn to God, there is hidden manna, and I've been shown it. Um, yes, God will lay bare the entire world and make it desolate. However, there are certain places where God will keep his people safe, and he has hidden manna. Um, hidden manna, um, I, I do know that I've, I've seen the Leviathan in my dreams twice now. Um, he's not small, <laughs> and it actually says that no one can pierce his, the scales. And, um, I think it's in Job. Um, where it talks that no hook can go in him, that um, no spear can be thrown at him because he's, um, what is it, the hobbit that also has that, but he they found a chink in the armor. Um, so it's that kind of thing. Um, I wonder if they got that idea from from the, from the Leviathan. Maybe. Um, and we'll give him a white stone, um, on the white stone a new name. So in heaven, I, I, I've heard this happen with the near-death experiences and with other people that we're given a new name in heaven, that our name here on earth is not the same as heaven. Um, so, none to the angel of the church of Thyatira, uh, Thyatira uh, write these things uh, to have a flame of fire. His feet are like fine brass. Oh, so they're referring to God. So, Thyatira, um, it's the northern part uh, of Lydia. Um, Lydia was uh, Asian... Um, and it's uh was part of Rome. Lydia was a kingdom. Um, in the Greek, it uh, was the daughter of the king, um, and it was done in two ninety BC. If I if I can read my own writing, uh, it's now called Akis Akisar. 
uh, prosperous trading town, um, hosted the cult, uh, a cult of Apollo, uh, center of indigo trade. It was, uh, very well known for dying. Um, and I, I mean, dying as in D Y E I N G. Uh, Paul, Paul meets Lydia and spreads the, and Lydia spreads the gospel for him in Turkey. And this is, and I think I asked that that was in, um, so now flip back to what the word says. So, so who hath, um, so son of God who hath his eyes like a, onto a, a flame of fire and his feet are like fine brass. And we've heard this in other places. I know that works in charity and service. So charity is basically helping others, doing the right thing. Um, helping people, listening to them, and doing service to them in faith, uh, going to those places that um, need help, like hospitals and homes and other places, in order to find the sick and the impoverished, and that's what we should be doing. Um, and some of us are, but a lot of us are not. I mean, we're like, hey, yeah, I'm a Christian, but I don't do anything. So, um, and thy patience and thy works, and the uh, the last to be more than the first. Uh, notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou um, sufferest that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess, to teach and to seduce um, servants to commit fornication and to eat things sacrificed unto idols. So this place sounds very much, um, even though, um, so Jezebel is talked about here, but if you look in Revelation 17, it also talks about ba Babylon and hell. It's also a inhabitant um, inhabited by Jezebel and her spirit. And if you look at um, what we're doing today, I mean, there are um, child sacrifices going on. Uh, we are um, eating things sacrificed to uh, idols and to uh, demons. Look at Halloween. Halloween is nothing but that. It's a Druid cultic festival that is devoted solely towards um, uh, demonic, uh, in, like... Demons are absolutely wanting you to participate in this because that means that they can inhabit you and take you out. It it means that they can have, have a field day with you. And that's not a good thing. Um, and I gave her uh, space to repent of her fornication. So fornication is sleeping around. And she repented not. So God is long-suffering and he gives you a lot of time to repent. But most people do not because they just are stubborn. They light their darkness more than the light. And that's what the Bible says. Behold, I will cast her into uh, a bed uh, and them that commit adultery with her uh, into great tribulation, except they repent of their deeds. So the people that are doing this, and it says great tribulation. So the tribulation lasts seven years. So he's going to cast these people into utter uh, tribulation if they don't turn around and repent. Uh, and I will kill her children with death in all the churches shall know that I am he that uh, search, um, searcheth the reins and hearts, and I will in minds, and I will give uh, unto each um, every one of you according to your works. So if you think God doesn't kill children, right here it says kill her children. Um, God kill, he doesn't want anything to do with sin. Um, if anything has sin in it, he's going to kill it. He doesn't want any abomination to be in heaven. It is a untainted um, place where he is made for his remnant. Uh, but unto you, I say, unto the rest of Thyatira, as many as have not um, this doctrine and which have not known the depths of Satan as they speak, I will put upon you none or, uh, other burden, but that which ye have... Um, Already hold fast till I come, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power uh, over the nations. Um, so he gives uh, those people there his power to uh, to judge and punish uh, those people. And it also refers to this in the revelation of Abraham. Um, in, in it, it also says that there will be people of God in Abraham's seed that will be doing this as well. Um, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall uh, they be broken to shivers, uh, slivers, uh, even as I received of my father. And as you imagine, uh, a potter, so he's basically breaking it into little uh, pieces uh, of pottery. If anyone has ever done had a clay pot and like beaten the heck out of it, you know what happens. Um, and I will give him, because and God refers to us as. Um, 
as the clay and he he forms us and tries to mold us into what he wants but uh, a lot of times people don't listen so um and give and we'll give him the morning star and he that hath an ear let him hear um unto i don't know if i'm gonna have <clears throat> i'm gonna keep going um and unto the angel of the church of sardis right these things saith the lord the seven stars i know thy works and thou hast Name the Levis and art dead. So Sardis, it was uh, watered by the Pactolus River. Um, and it had gold sands along the riverbank, and was gold was found on its banks. Noted for fruits, uh, wool, and temple uh, by goddess C C Y B E L E, C-Y-B-E-L-E, uh, similar to Diana, capital of Lydia, um, um, and it ruled by a very wealthy uh, Croesus. Uh, 560 to 547 BC, minted and distributed the world's first gold coins, um, passed um, to Rome, Romans in 1780. It was a destroyed by an earthquake, spiritually dead, needed to do uh, more good works, desperately needed to awake, had knowledge of truth, but didn't practice it, spiritually weak, converted, converted by John. So, so that is that um, church. Um, Remember thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come as a thief in the night, shall take um, in one hour uh, what hour um, thou hast a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. Um, so there are a few people. Um, so um, these towns are like thousands of people, and it's like a handful of people, not like... So imagine like the U.S. I mean, it's a handful of people, not like many people. It says days of Noah. Days of Noah, there was eight people saved out of like hundreds of thousands. Uh, he that hath overcome the same shall be clothed in white raiment. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father, and before his angels. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And the Philadelphia church... Um, is the other church um, oh i have the laodicea I, I don't know where laodicea church is but philadelphia sits near the kokomos river um in the kusake um, valley it's in turkey province of uh, manissa fertile valley that uh, produced very qual quality wine founded in 189 bc um by pergamon uh, King you you means also called uh, Dicapolis or Flavia, um, also the Little Athens because of the pagan temples. Um, so, so yeah, so that's Philadelphia. Uh, sorry, uh, Angel. So these things hath the right he that uh, openeth and no man shutteth and shutteth and no man can openeth. Um, and so that's what God does. I know thy works, and behold, I have set. Before thee an open door, no man can shut it. For thou hast a little strength, and hast kept my word, and hast not denied my name. Behold, I will make them a synagogue of Satan, which they say are Jews, and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thee, thy feet, to know that I have uh, loved thee. So the Philadelphia is the one church that God truly um, loves, and it's because they have held to the truth and held the way. Um, because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of um, of um, temptation. Um, I think it's also tribulation. So these are people that will go home with him, um, which will come upon all the world um, to try them that dwell upon the earth. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man can take thy crown. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out, and I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, which is New Jerusalem. The New Jerusalem comes out of heaven in Revelation, and it um, is on the new earth, which God will. So God's going to undo the earth after the millennial reign um, and destroy it completely. Um, and then the New Jerusalem, which has already been built, and it's waiting in heaven to come down, which cometh down out of the heaven from my God, and I will write upon their name, a new name, and that's what we uh, found in, a, in one of the other church letters. 
Then we talk about uh, Laodicea, um, which is a um, junction of several routes uh, from Ephesus and Philadelphia, originally Diaspolis, uh, or the city of Jupiter, and then Roas, um, and it was rebuilt. It's the city of seven hills, uh, one of Asia Minor's most flourishing cities, prosperity because of the trade routes. Um, sheep known for fine black wool that were um, ming mingling down uh, in that area. Minted coinage, uh, worship of Zeus and emperors suffered from earthquakes. Very wealthy citizens because of the hub of a lot of different groups. Um, I know that works, and thou, the, um, this is the lukewarm church. Um, I would, thou wert cold or hot, so then because thou art lukewarm and neither hot nor cold, um, I will spew thee out of my mouth, because thou sayest I am rich and increased with goods. Um, so that's because of its trading route, and have need of nothing, and knowest not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. So we know also when God says about the rich, how they don't want to give up everything that they have because they're like, well, I don't need you. And that's why it's so hard for rich people to come to God because they can rely, uh, rely on their riches. I mean, if you have money, I mean, you're not going to rely on God to heal you. You're not going to rely on God to give you furniture and stuff to have. I mean, I've had issues with dogs and other things. And if I didn't have God, I wouldn't have the money to get my dog through what he needed to. I counsel thee to buy uh, of uh, me gold tried in the fire. So uh, this is in reference to, I think, what, the gold sands? Um, and that thou mayest be rich in white raiment. A uh, raiment is like a, a gown kind of thing. That thou mayest be clothed, and that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with eye, eye salve. Uh, that thou mayest see. Um, that's kind of in reference to what Jesus did because Jesus rubbed um, like dirt and um, spit on people's eyes and in order for them to see. As many as I love, I rebuke and chasten uh, and be zealous therefore and repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice, open the door. I will come into him and will sup with him. Um, and to him that overcometh, I will grant to sit with me in thy throne. Um, even as I overcome and am sit by the Father on his throne. He that hath an ear, let him hear. So, okay, so those are the ones in the seven churches. I know it's on winded. I tried to give you a little background with it, too. Um, I did this research um, trying to figure out where these are. I find it very interesting that all of them are in Turkey. Um, and I don't know if things were hidden from us or what's going on, but, I mean, maybe there's more to it. Um, and maybe that's a, a big area where a lot of tribulation, um, happens. I mean, I know Tur Turkey right now is having a lot of issues, um, and is, will be a, a heavy part of, as we can see from the church letters, um, a part of the end times. So thank you for joining me. Um, hopefully you learned something. Um, but yeah, do your research, um, get right with God. Um, if you are in fornication, get out of it. Um, if you are in idolatrous stuff, get out of it. If, if you worship wealth and gold and money and jobs more than God, then you need to get rid of it because um, if if you like them more than you like God, God's going to go bye-bye. Um, so God says to worship him and not to take things of this world. So um, thank you for joining me. Have a great night. Uh, please turn to God and repent. Otherwise, it's going to be too late.